Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my first impressions video of Incredibles 2. Now, because it's the first impressions video, I'm not going to give a grade. I'm not going to use special graphics or make special jokes. Just give you my uh, general feelings about the movie. And the reason why I do it is pretty much for three reasons. I, I am going to cheat with some notes, so just you know, bear with me. <laughs> uh, okay, so, yeah, there's mainly three reasons. First of all, it's a superhero movie, and I can find enjoyment with just about any type of superhero movie, even if it's superhero movies I wind up hating, like uh, Catwoman or Fan Forestick or Amazing Spider-Man 1 and Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> you know, I can find some type of enjoyment in a superhero movie. Two, it's a Pixar film, and Pixar has had a steady track record of excellence. Um, even their worst movie is better than a lot of the animated fluff that gets released onto the public, like uh, Minions and the Emoji movie. So... You know, they have a pretty solid track record, even when it comes to their bad films. Uh, and it's a follow-up to The Incredibles, which is one of the best superhero movies of all time, one of the most best animated movies of all time, one of the best family movies of all time. So, you know, it's like it already had my money pretty much. So basically, uh, I was going to do a review if uh, this movie was either an uh, incredible letdown, or like Pixar finally made a terrible, absolutely horrible movie, or this movie was so astounding and spectacular and wonderful that it made you go like MCU who you know uh, Infinity War what you know Black Panther who Captain America what you know uh, and I gotta say I'm pretty sure that a lot of Disney people are happy that they have the Incredibles that way if they uh, deal with Fox and Fall Suit they still have alternate uh, superheroes I mean imagine uh Imagine if they did uh, Incredibles and Big Hero 6 crossover that'd be uh, wonderful but anyway with Incredibles 2 Wonderful, loved it, was smiling the practically the entire time. Uh, exciting stuff for the grown ups, stuff for the kids. I was hoping that the math is math scene was in there, and it is in there. Uh, and any complaints I have are so minor and ultimately inconsequential. It's like, you know, it's like I really would have to nitpick to say the stuff that I didn't like. I mean, it's so inconsequential. Plus, it is also for kids. I mean, it's for the whole family. So, you know, it's not going to be a Captain America Civil War, which is a new type, type of drama, or, uh, you know, like, uh, The Dark Knight, <laughs> you know, with some complex, uh, you know, character study. And so, you know, it is an adventure movie for the whole family. But yeah, I was smiling. I was happy. It's exciting. It's thrilling. I was concerned that it was just going to basically copy the idea of the first movie with some rich billionaire hiring one of the uh, parents, you know, first it was Mr. Credible, now this is um, Elastigirl. The only significant complaint I have is that the villain uh, is predictable. If you watch a lot of movies or watch a lot of superhero movies like I do, you'll pretty much figure out who the villain is, but it's, uh, but it's okay. Like I said, it's for the whole family, uh, and there is a minor plot hole but it is sort of hinted at in the last image of the credits that they might fix that plot hole if they make a third movie. Uh, there is no special after credit scene, uh, but there is an image at the very end that might be that they'll fix that minor plot hole uh, if they make a third movie. And even though there is a... Uh, uh, after credit screen, the music, oh, so wonderful. Uh, the, the extra images, like in the first movie, the credits have the special stylized uh, credits. Wonderful. There's some uh, new songs that you'll probably get a kick out of. And I just was happy all around. Uh, now, there is a movie, uh, like many other Pixar movies, there's a movie that plays before the film, a little anime short called Bao or Bao or something. It's B-A-O. Uh, I'm assuming out of the Japanese or Chinese. And it is charming and creepy okay uh, i was like is this what is going on where is this going where is this going especially there's a a turning point in the movie the little short and it's like what just happened and there were several people in the audience laughing i'm like no this is not the time for laughter depending on how they're going to spend this this is not the time for laughter why are you laughing but uh, fortunately it all worked out uh so it wound up being uh easing my mind but yeah i was like where is this going with this movie bower bay but uh anyway long story short wonderful movie pixar has done it again uh disney should be happy the people at the mcu they should be you know uh, keep an eye on them and like, hey, you know, as wonderful as you guys are doing, 
there's still some other superheroes around here. You know, you haven't quite cornered the, the superhero market. Uh, and the animated short beforehand, uh, go with a very open mind. Uh, it, 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 uh, it's unique. It's very unique. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, only scene of your play was uh, predictably other villain. But other than that, exciting, thrilling. Bring your friends. Bring your family. Bring your coworkers. Get to the theater. And the only reason why this movie isn't going to dominate the box office is because Jurassic World 2 comes out next week, okay? If it wasn't for Jurassic World 2 coming out this week, this movie would easily dominate uh, the summer box office. So uh, that's my feelings. Enjoyed it very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or click the dislike button, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Heel Knight. Thank you for watching, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.